We now want to explore five things that uh, plants do for human society specifically. And the first is uh, they provide us with food, food that we can eat. Here's our berry patch. We got blackberries and raspberries. And um, our food supply comes from plants. Whether we eat plants directly or we eat animals that have been fed plants. But we don't just eat food for energy. We also eat food to enjoy it and uh, because it tastes good. Um, so an another thing that, that is really important in terms of plants, plants make food taste good. Right? The herbs and the spices that we put on food is what gives it its flavor. So we have an herb garden over here, lots of different kinds of herbs, uh, onions, garlic. Uh, if we took all of those uh, seasonings right, from, from herbs and spices that we get from plants, then food would be bland. So for example, right here, you can see, we've been harvesting tomatoes, we're gonna make salsa, and we're gonna can some tomatoes. Right here, we have uh, our basil garden. And the reason we planted basil is because its leaves have these really aromatic secondary compounds that make pizza taste really good and that you can, can add flavor to, to dishes. We are also gonna make um, some pesto with our basil and uh, freeze that and put that in the freezer. So, yeah, plant, herbs and spices give, give our, our food flavor. The second thing that plants do um, that's really important to us as human society is um, the secondary compounds in medicinal plants are really important in terms of providing medicines to humans. And we don't have a lot of medicinal plants in our yards, but about 25% of the medicines that were prescribed for uh, to heal us come from, from the secondary compounds in plant leaves and other plant parts. Um, the third thing that, that is part of our everyday lives that come from uh, plant fibers. Um, one type of plant fiber, fiber is wood. So you look at our wooden fence, uh, you look at this little structure over here, our homes are made out of wood. So many things that we construct as humans come from wood, which is plant fiber. And then our clothes. Our clothes are, are uh, constructed from plant fibers, almost all of them. And so our food, our shelter, and our, our clothing comes from plants. Uh, the other thing that uh, plants provide to us is a beautiful world. If our world was just uh, geological like Mars and so many other planets, uh, much of its beauty would be gone. You can look at just the floral displays here. I've been hiking in forests and uh, alpine meadows and so much of what I enjoyed in those hikes were, were just the plants and the habitat that the plants formed. So that's, that's the, the kind of the fourth really important thing that, that uh, plants provide to human society is just a beautiful world for us to live in. And then the final thing that plants do is they uh, drive the hydrological cycle, the water cycle, uh, the carbon nitrogen cycle, and uh, the nitrogen cycles that are the, the foundation of um, life on planet Earth. Okay, so for example, plants through their roots take up water and across their leaf surfaces, they, they uh, just fire water, put it up in the atmosphere that forms clouds that then create patterns, uh, patterns of precipitation on our planet. Um, they also absorb carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and take carbon dioxide out of the air. And that uh, really controls the temperature on our planet. And then through taking up nitrogen and other nutrients, right, they uh, process uh, the, and, and send those different nutrients into the food web. Right? And, and that's really critical to forming most of the patterns of life on Earth. Uh, so these, these cycles I'm talking about, the hydrological cycle the, or the water cycle, the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, is the engine of our planet. And plants are really um, the, the, the organisms that provide uh, the the foundation of uh, driving those, those cycles for their critical